Hi everyone. We are starting our first Arvix to video tutorial for Mojo Portal today by showing you how to download the latest version of Mojo Portal and install it on your local system using Visual Studio 2012. First of all, you see that we've got browser window open to mojoportal.com. Now, you'll see that I've got the cursor over download. I'll click here. And you'll notice that we can see at the top that the current version is 2.3.9.7, which has just been released today and to download. And so what we do is, where it says download now, go to CodePlex, click. Now you'll see a change set that's associated with the latest version, 2.3.9.7. Here's the change set. We'll click on that link. and then we see a download icon up here at the top right hand side fork clone download and you'll see that we've got a text tip for download the latest source code so clicking the download button and you'll notice that we have Mojo Portal with the extension for the latest change set you'll notice that we've got the uh, change set right here what I'm going to do is take and highlight that change set number and change it to a number that makes sense to me to remember which is the latest version 2.3.9.7 and I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now it'll be easier for us to find when we're putting things where we need them to go okay now we're clicking our save button um, I've got a really great download speed so as you see so we've got that right there and what I'm going to do is right click and I use 7-zip because it's got a few more extra features and better control so extract to Mojo Portal 2.3.9.7 you'll see that it's it's extracting it takes a moment or two but we're doing alright now one of the things that we're going to do once all that is extracted is since we're going to be using Visual Studio 2012, I've already opened the folder where Visual Studio by default saves its projects, which is my documents, Visual Studio 2012 projects. I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder here, new. Okay, new folder. And I'm going to make, name that one Mojo. 2.3.9.7 you can see where I've, I've done this recently for the 9.5 version but it's always good to go with the latest and greatest if you can alright I've opened that and it looks like our extraction is finished so let's open this folder as you can see there's a folder within a folder that with the extension of the change sets if you always if you need to refer back to it to figure out which change set that you're using now I'm going to select control A and select all of this and right click copy and then click over here to this new projects folder we've created and paste takes a few moments to, to copy everything over alright and we have finished our copy over so I'm going to go ahead and close this folder right here to keep our desktop nice and tidy now we can see all the different folders that we have here now what I'm going to do is go down here and where we see mojoportal.sln solution file I'm going to right click and select rename and I am going to choose a name that makes sense to me to remember the solution is, uh, when I open it up in Visual Studio. So I'm going to type, name it, rename it Mojo underscore 2.3.9.7. You may have noticed a pattern here that I'm actually making sure that when I'm using a particular version of Mojo Portal to try to remember what version I'm using. This does get to be very important if you're wanting to test various versions or you're supporting different versions for different clients or environments. So we've got that. Now I'm also going to copy that path and we'll minimize this folder for right now and 
minimize our browser and you'll see I've got my uh, Visual Studio 2012 icon on my desktop. Double click and open. Well, the usual file, open project. Oh, you can see it already opened directly to it, so what I'll do is double click on the Mojo 2.3.9.7 folder and scroll down to the solution file. Click open. And we'll let Visual Studio open the solution. It just takes just a few moments. Uh, you can usually rely on this taking about, well, I'd say 15, 20 seconds, a minute tops. So I think we're ready here. Let's click Solution Explorer. And there we are. We have our solution. We have all the different um, projects that are within the solution. I have a tendency to go ahead and minimize these at the very first so that unless I'm actively developing a plugin or a custom feature of any sort, uh, I'm usually not in these folders all that often. Most of my focus will be down here in mojoportal.web, which is where you'll find most of your folders. It's where you'll find your data folder so that you can access your um, various content that is site-specific when that becomes relevant and go from there. Now, one thing uh, that Mojo Portal does not do on setup is create its own database. Uh, you have to do that manually, but thankfully with Visual Studio 2012 that's really pretty easy. We're going to click on the serv SQL Server Object Explorer right here and we see that we have SQL Server and I've previously added my uh, SQL 2012 instance to SQL Server, so what I can do is click here, we see databases, and what I'm going to do is right click and add a new database. That new database, we're going to name it, yeah, for consistency sake, Mojo 2397. Alright, that's the database we're going to use for this particular instance of Mojo Portal in Visual Studio 2012. So what we'll do is go over to the Solution Explorer, expand, expand that back out. Um, let's see, looking for web config we'll do for right now. Uh, normally it's recommended to use user config, but since web config is readily visible, what we'll do is go over here and scoot down to our SQL connection spring. I'll be and this is where you'll add your server. And in this instance mine is Morgan slash SQL two oh one two. Now we have decided our database name is going to be Mojo. 2397 and since I'm working locally right now we'll just go with the trusted connection equals true well, it helps if I type correctly there we go save that and you see here we can choose Firefox, Chrome or any other browser we have installed. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to Chrome for my default and we'll pr press this. We see the build starting and of course you'll see the development server and all that good stuff pop up and we're opening a browser window it can take a few moments while it's uh, detecting the database and starting to get everything set up. Uh, you'll see a screen being blank like this for a little bit. Then once everything has initialized that it's supposed to, we will begin to see the setup screen for Mojo Portal. Okay, you'll see that we have a SQL error thrown because it, and you'll see the message pop up that it is looking for a table
table that doesn't exist yet, and that's simply because the scripts haven't been run against the database to create a database. All we'll do is click continue right here, and you'll see right there we have the Measure Portal setup screen. You'll see that it's running through all the core scripts, and then as we scroll down we can see where it's setting up all the features that are default that comes with Mojo Portal. You can see that we've it tells us what database platform, what version, and that the installation is up to date. This is important for when you're running upgrades later on down the line to confirm which version you upgraded to. So let's go ahead and click on the link here. And here we see the default skin for the uh, instance of Mojo Portal that we've just installed using Visual Studio 2012 and SQL Server 2012. Thanks for your patience and our next video tutorial will go through how to customize this. Thanks!